up, everybody? This is Julian, or you can call me JP, and I'm representing JP Fitness. Today, I'm here to talk about a way that you can literally destroy your arms. Again, a lot of arm workouts and workouts in general, over time, they can get stale. And if you want to keep seeing growth and, see, and seeing progress to reaching your goals, you have to find ways to switch things up. One of the simplest ways to switch things up is just to add weight. Add weight on a bench press, add weight on a barbell curl. But over time, your body's going to get used to that same uh, type of motion. Even if you add weight, it's not enough of a change for you to continue to see growth. So today, the method I'm, that I'm going to talk about is basically you're using contrast energy systems to raise the intensity. When we lift heavy weights, we can only lift those weights because we're using the phosphagen system. I might be butchering that word, but phosphagen, phosphagen system. And we, when we use a uh, kind of moderately heavy weight or a little bit lighter weight, uh, we tend to, we're using glycolysis, anaerobic glycolysis. So um, you're trying to use opposite energy systems to raise the intensity. Now, how to, exactly does it work? What you do is you do a drop set. A drop set is simply, for someone who doesn't know what this is, for people who do know, you already know, but for someone who doesn't know what this is, let's just say we're talk, gonna talk about our curl. When you're doing a curl, Let's just say you're doing an eight to 12 rep scheme where you fail at 10 reps and you're curling with 20 pounds, 20 pound dumbbells, and you fail, you drop the weight to a lighter weight to continue the set. It increases the intensity and it also increases the time and retention of the muscle. So uh, what you do in this method is you're doing a drop set on a particular exercise. You can also use a superset method, two different exercises. But what you do is you specifically your first set, your first part of the, uh, the drop set is you're focusing on a heavy negative, which is you're fo focusing on the phosphagen system or phosphagen system, however you pronounce that, by targeting three to six reps. That's where you're going to fail at, but you're specifically targeting the negative. For example, um, pick a weight that you can only curl one to two times clean. You can only do it one to two times, and after that, you have to cheat or you have to drop the weight. But basically, 90% to 100% of your one rep max for, let's just say we're using a curl for an example. You can do this with almost any exercise, but we're gonna stick to that for now. So for example, let's just say this was your, whatever weight this is, this is your one rep max. You can only curl it one time clean. Let's just say that was your one, one rep max. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna finish the reps in the three to six rep scheme, but you're gonna focus on a slow negative by self spotting like this. For example, you lean forward, use a little bit of momentum, get it up, slowly control the negative. <laughs> you're gonna do that for whatever exercise you're doing. Again, you could do the same thing with skull crushers, but you're gonna go to the three to six rep, three to six rep range. You're gonna specifically pick a weight that you cannot do that in, so you have to focus on the negative. You're gonna do a self spot, then you're gonna control the negative till you fill in the three to six rep scheme. Now, with no rest period, with no rest period in between, you are instantly gonna drop the weight from a 90% to a 100% one rep max, whatever you're using right there, to really light, probably about a third of that or a quarter of that, or if you want a percentage of your own or max, probably about a 30 to 40% of your own or max. Then you're gonna do that exact same exercise and then you are now gonna go to a high rep, like 15 to 20 reps for more of like a pump type of, uh, uh, exercise. So again, you're getting opposite energy systems working. So instead of just doing a regular drop set where you do an 8 to 12, you drop the weight and then you do an 8 to 12, you are doing a heavy negative followed by a high rep. Remember the high rep, you're just doing regular repetitions. Regular positive, controlled eccentric. For the heavy, you're doing just focusing on the negative. Get as many clean reps as you can with the heavy first and then focus on the negative, but don't pick a weight that you can do a bunch of clean reps. That's not the point. You're for your first part of the set, you're picking a weight where you can only do maybe one, maybe two clean reps, then it's obviously past that, it's too heavy. Now, just so you stay safe, what I don't want you to do is when you're self-spotting, don't lean back. What I want you to do is lean forward and then go to neutral, from forward to neutral. Don't lean back. That's, when you start leaning back, it puts uh, bad pressure on your low back. You're putting your back in a very compromising position. So what I would do is, if you wanna self spot that way. If you have someone you're working out with, you could just have them spot you. So have them help you on the positive portion, uh, control the eccentric portion. Then once you can, when you fail in that three to six rep range, I want you to, again, drop the weight. Let's just say you're working with like 40 pound dumbbells or 35 pound dumbbells, drop to like a 10, literally just eights or even eights, eight pound dumbbells each. Then you're just going for that kind of pump, control, squeeze. So again, that opposite energy systems is really raising the intensity. You can do this with bench press, same scheme, 
bench press, you have to have a spotter. Have someone pick a weight that you can only do one or two times, but you're gonna go to three to six rep range. Control it, control it, control it. Have the spotter help you up. Control it, control it. And when you fail, like pull off a whole plate or something, something real light, then just control, control to 15 to 20 reps, like a minute to a minute and a half time under tension. Again, this is really good to destroy your arms, put it in your and put it in on your arm day. If you really like these types of videos, something to break plateaus, again, like below, share, and subscribe with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Again, if you want advice like this, please go check out my Facebook. I'm always putting up posts, posts daily to help people uh, eat healthy, uh, break plateaus, increase muscle, increase strength. Again, until next time, peace.